Are you ready for the world transformation? Okay, let's get started. Hey lovelies and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, as you know, I've posted a few home updates and stuff. So this is a new project I'm about to do. Put a panel at the side of the kitchen where I'm showing you now. I'm going to take all those uh, things that are scattered there off. Sorry for that mess because I'm going to do this project. So everything is in a mess there. Yeah, so I'm going to start building my uh, panel at the side there. The panel we are going to do is like a rental friendly. I'm not going to use any nails or any glue for this work all i'm going to use is a tape yes i'm going to use a tape for this project and it's going to hold it so hard and it's going to be good i mean just as a professional will do yes so stay with me as we start this project the wood that is standing there that long is what i'm going to use for this work i bought this from one of the builders uh shop here it's called blanchford <laughs> i don't know if i'm pronouncing it well yeah so they are quite cheap this is the wood i've brought outside and i've lined them down to use my ruler to just line where i'm going to cut through so this is the saw i'm going to use <laughs> it's a hand saw it's a very small one i wish i have the electric one where you can just cut very quick i don't know how to use this one properly so you know i have to go sometimes like one way the other side before i was able to cut but it does a very nice clean job and i like this little saw it has helped me in so many of my work that i've done so far so the shorter height there is what i'm going to go for the rest of them so this is what i've got for my project so i know some of them are taller some of them are longer <laughs> yeah so i'm just taking my measurements and then start with my work this is the was an empty tape i'm going to use for the work and this is how it looks it is uh, like both side of it it's a double-sided tape so when i put it that side on the wood i take the paper at the other side off those white things are uh, just plain ordinary papers it's not a tape so that's what i'm doing now i'm taking the tape off before i put it onto the wall i make sure i stick it properly and like push it onto the wall because it has to hold and settle so that's what i'm doing now yeah i know i'm not really good with measurements and stuff <laughs> this one was a hard one for me because the only thing i had available was that tiny ruler to measure all this after this project i got a uh, one of those uh level like you know long level so you can use to get a very good accurate uh, measurement so from the next works i'll be doing they'll be accurate with my measurement this was mostly my eye level and all that so yeah continuing with it i'm just putting the panels behind the radiator this is the hardest part of it for me i knew i could have uh, taken that radiator off like you know it comes off from the back if you hang take it off but somebody has to hold it for you or disconnect it anyway so this is some of the wood that is not long enough so i cut half of uh, from one and then joining them a few of them i have to do like this because they were not up to that height i bought about six of this wood only six i did not want to buy too much i don't want to use any more money in doing this whole thing really let's say in total of everything that i did on this project with painting and everything and the wood everything i bought is about less than 30 pounds yeah to do this whole project because all the six wood that i bought was around 14 pounds yeah about 14 and then the bottle of paint that i'm going to use is about 14 pounds too so that's about 30 pounds yes all of them so it's very very cheap and this paint that i'm going to use for this whole project i just use a little amount of it and the remaining is going to do a lot of work so that is my <laughs> that's my husband helping me to hold the, the wood yep so just continuing the, the after putting the long ones i cut a middle one to put like just to the above the center of it and so sorry going to the corner there i think i did not measure that place properly so it was going up like a little bit smaller but it's still okay <laughs> when i finish i push it down and it was a bit straight down i thought it would be so yeah you know this is all a girl's kind of perspective of where <laughs> it's not going to be that perfect but well it still does the job for me so i'm just putting this one at the top to measure and see if it will it will be like enough that is the length of uh, the whole wood that i bought that's how the length is actually so i had to cut like a half to add up to it to to the height that i want so this is the brushes i'm going to use to do my painting it's a set of it it has uh, two rollers in it with one metal and uh, i have some extra brushes and stuff from my previous one so this is the paint i'm going to use it says uh, egyptian cotton and then this this one is overtly olive i did not use the overtly olive i reserved that for a different project so i used the first one so i'm going to use this tape i'm holding now to line up my my work my woodwork away from the wall that i don't want the paint to touch all the parts that i don't want the paint to touch i'm going to line them with that and so finish with all that i'm now going to mix my paint the paint i'm mixing now is the egyptian cotton one this one is from dulux yeah that's the name on it deluxe i'm just mi mixing it with uh, water 
i made sure i mix it well before i start my painting yeah so i just tried this on the wall this is the same dulux i diluted one with white like paint to see how it look but it's still like not that much different the first color is uh, the one i mixed with white the middle one is the original dulux and then the green looking one is the one that is the overtly olive anyway so this is me starting my painting job just getting my paint onto the wood side of the work first where um I will let them settle and then i will start painting the white side of the surface of the wall <laughs> sorry for the mess i said again there is so much i should have carried those tables and stuff away from there but well i left them okay so this is the roller i'm using this ruler is quite really good i guess i will have done better with a smaller one i have a few tiny rollers but i decided not to use them because they are so tiny i mean too smooth for this work for me it will be too slow so i decided to use this big one and it's still doing the job very well all the parts that the roller is not able to go to, i use brush to do those and i think it's still really nice it came out really good i'm just making sure the painting is going to everywhere that uh, i want it all to cover so i do about uh, three coats i think so yeah i did the first one to cover most of the parts and then i went around again the second one and i used brush to do some of the third like coats and where the paint did not reach and all that to just touch up and all that so i did this and i let them dry it so I'll continue well in this video you'll see how I took all the tape and things off so this is me almost done with the painting but as you can see some parts are dried and some parts are not so I'm just going all on it so that all the places that are not covered I knew I missed some of some places to paint I did not paint all of some part of it you will definitely miss some when you are doing this kind of work so this is how it looks the next day it's all dry I came back from the gym and I said well let me continue with my project so this is me taking the tape off so as you can see the top it looks very messy it doesn't look nice until i take the tape off now you understand what i mean by it become very clean now you see the work that you've done that oh this is how it's looking it look really good unfortunately it looks like my camera is not doing me any favor it's not capturing the thing properly how i want it captured so i think this part i use my phone also to to just film this part to see if i can get closer to it properly i'm not sure yeah so just to bring out the lightning so that you can see clearly also i think the place is not that bright i like this color it looks so good it's like some sort of like neutral color the paint is so gorgeous this one will do really well in my bedroom because i have another plan to use that same paint for my bedroom it's going to look really really nice for for the work i'm going to use it for yeah i can't wait to to paint my bedroom with that so i'm just trying to get closer i mean really a bit closer sorry i have another mess there that's the remaining of paint and projects i have next so this is how the whole place is looking now that i have at least gathered some of the things away <laughs> as i said earlier on in one of my videos i think this table is too really big for the kitchen for me it's covering a lot of spaces and i'm i might have to get rid of it someday not maybe that soon so thank you so much for watching today's video and i hope you've enjoyed don't forget to subscribe and give a thumbs up to this video and stay tuned i have more coming more projects coming up and so many videos i've finished my placement now and so i'm home and free yeah thank you guys and i'll see you in the next one bye Keep hustling